I don't think I trust anyone. I realized it today. I don't actually trust anyone. I don't even think I trust myself. It's, it's kind of sad. And it's funny for some reason at the same time. It's like, this is why I'm so anxious, why I get so lonely. It just clicked for me today. A situation happened that was really triggering and it triggered this thing in me that I realized it's always there under the surface waiting to come out and play. My therapist asked me today, when did I stop trusting people or when could I trust people? Like when, <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. All I thought of was the time that I had a complete meltdown as a child because I got sent to Monopoly jail. Monopoly jail? I thought I was going to jail. I thought I was going to real jail. I remember the mood and it was somber and so depressing and I was like, my life is over. I must have consciously known I wasn't actually going to jail, but maybe I didn't. Like my just little mind couldn't comprehend or like I had that much paranoia. I realize just more about myself every fucking day, every year so many layers to the onion of trauma i definitely was a sensitive child it was just so much fear it was so distressing i've always wanted to be an actor and maybe i could be good if i can believe just as much that i'm going to jail for monopoly if i were to believe i was actually in my character situation i just want to use this as a superpower but it is lonely not trusting anyone <laughs> who else who's all my non trusty peeps out there and what's life like for you because it could be more enjoyable i just don't know if that's ever going to change like i feel like i came out of the womb just being like i knew just pe people were up to something you just can't I was, I was definitely untrusting of lightning. I was deathly afraid of lightning. I had like so many, a, a fair amount of different phobias. My latest has been a fear of choking. Thank God that one's gone. But sometimes as soon as I remember that I have that, then it flares up again. It's not unreasonable for me to have come out of the womb being like, okay, like this doctor that's holding me right now could be a f up person like kind of sketchy we know of evil doctors that you just don't know but i think i want to get to the point where i'm so intuitive that i know for sure okay this is a good person it's a good energy it's not good energy but i do get just hella triggered when i encounter an ick energy person but then it makes me distrustful of everyone and i just wish i could be distrustful of the you know psychopaths and um serial killers although not all psychopaths are what is it malevolent benevolent maleficent i've done a lot of research and there's people with psychopath brains that are genuine nice um but can you really trust them and i don't want to stigmatize people diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder i think that's what psychopath is or is it sociopath i don't know but um you can't even ever trust anyone ever because someone might just snap and i'm i'm ready for that at all times but i think to just enjoy my life a little bit more it'd be nice to not um be as on guard um but anyways okay i think i'm gonna sign off and no hate to the psychopaths love you guys because I know there's good ones out there and the not good ones can't even help it. They can't, they have no control anyway. So um, that's just how their brain was born, I guess. Uh, anyways, okay. Okay, that, that was that.